data validation from technology management. It is possible to trigger the validation process either from the templates themselves or from the actual data because the validate data button exists on the actions tab of the ribbon in the customer card page and also here on the customers list page. When I click it, it takes me to the data validation record selection page. Here I choose the three dots, assist edit, to get further options and I choose select more. I can now tick the top box to select all the records from this list page. When I say OK, it will run the actual data validation. It will find which of the data validation templates are applicable to this record type and check against all the rules it finds on those data validation template cards. Here on the data validation error list page, it reports its findings. In this case, it found multiple incidents of the same error from the all customers template and the error message gives guidance as to how to fix the issue. So many of my customer records are missing the credit limit. To make the corrections, the user can select one row or record and then go directly to that relevant customer card by clicking the open record button on the home tab of the ribbon above. In this case, however, I'm going to export the result to Excel for review later. The data validation templates list page is the main new area of this edition. It allows you to create and manage templates that contain the rules that will be used. It lists all the available template cards. The ribbon above has a new button on it in the Actions tab called Validate Data. This will let me launch the validation process. Each template card refers to one table, referencing the table number. Here it's the customer table, table 18. The template will apply to all records of that type, so all customers unless a condition is set to apply it to just a subset of the records. So it could be made to apply to just the US customers, for example. In this case though, this template applies to all customers. We then define the actual validation rules on each line of the template card. Each rule relates to one particular field number from the selected table. For a particular field, we can say that it either must equal a value, must match a filter, or must be a certain length. Then we can set a user-friendly error message that will be displayed in the event of it failing that check. Here, percentage one means it will use the field name in the error message. So these four rules check that the credit limit and three posting groups have all been set up correctly on the customer card. This second template card relates to the same table, table 18 customers, but it has a validation condition set. So it will only apply to customers from the country region of US. On it, we have just one rule for validation, and this relates to the general business posting group. But as you can see, the error message gives clear guidance to the user as to what the value should be set to. You can provide translations of the error message for use if you have other languages installed within NAV. I would need to give it the language code and then enter the translation. It's worth noting that all the rules on the template card will not apply unless the template card itself is marked as enabled by checking in the tick box. It is simple to export and import templates in data validation. For example, if you are working in a test environment prior to an upgrade of NAV, it could be very useful to use data validation to check the data quality and fix any issues prior to going live. You could then import the rules you developed into the live environment later on. If I click the export templates button on the home tab of the ribbon, it will download an XML file of the templates, which then saves in my downloads folder. I can open this to view it if I wish. To import it, I simply reverse this process. I click Import Templates, then navigate to where the XML file is saved and import it. 